Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a layout for Kidaholics kits using the November 2021 kit and I love how this layout turned out. I am creating a summertime layout and I'll be featuring the mixed media kit today. And firstly, I am going to prep what I my mixed media component. I have pre gessoed my white cardstock here and I am going to be using this the gorgeous stencil from the kit and the glitter gel as well. So I want to create a green leaf type um, embellishment. So I have pulled out all of my greenish tones and aquary toned sprays and I am just spraying my onto my white cardstock to create a beautiful tropical green color. This will ultimately be where I stence, use the stencil and I will then fussy cut out the leaves. So there is no rhyme nor reason here. I am just wanting to get color on the page. So I'm spraying onto my cardstock and I'm adding some water and just swirling the mixture, the mix of colors around. I've started with a little bit of a blue tone as well, just to give a little bit of depth to the page, to the color. And I, I'm doing layer upon layer here. Like with most mixed media, you can either be really light on or really heavy. And I've gone quite heavy with this particular one because I was really looking for a tropical color and it took quite a bit of, of getting there. So it went a little turquoisey for a while, but I then realized I, I still really, really wanted it to be a lot more greener than what this is looking right now. So I do dry this off and I go right back into my stash of my sprays again and find some more deeper green sprays that I have and which really give a beautiful effect. And I also am drying this as much as I can naturally as well because as things are drying, I've used a lot of water on this cardstock and it, um, so it, it, it actually got quite warped, but it gave some beautiful lines through the actual mixed media as well. So you'll see there that you've got that really heavy green line through that and that beautifully comes together when it dries naturally. I did give it a little bit of a hurry up at one stage. You'll see there my heat gun there is to the to the right, but it was really just to end the drying. There was just a, I wanted to get started. And so I just finished it off with the heat gun. So I'm really trying to get this whole, like I said, the whole green effect. And I just mush, continue to add water and move it around the page as much as I possibly could. Now to create the leaves, I have used the glitter gel and oh my goodness, that glitter gel is so, so smooth and lovely. I randomly place the stencil around the green area and just to give it some different definition. And then I have sprayed, oh, see, look how beautiful those troughs are across the page and those lines and they come out on the leaves beautifully. Sorry, I um, have smushed through the stencil with the glitter gel and I was a bit concerned at first because those lines in the stencil are quite thin, but it does give a lovely edge to the to that stencil. I didn't really give a lot of care around how messily I did this. So there was some sections where I did actually this, the spatula, which was also in the mixed media kit as well, did actually go through the stencil, but that didn't bother me at all. I knew I was going to be fussy cutting this out and it would give a bit of a rough, rough feel to it as well. So I just used a, a number of the different size leaves on that spray on the actual stencil and then fussy cut those out. Aren't they beautiful? I loved how they turned out. So to pull the layout together, I have um, gutted that patterned paper with the stripes and added some white cardstock and then added the gutted piece over just to add some layers. That's what this layout is all about. Layer upon layer upon layer. And I have also distressed the edges of that white cardstock as well. And that was really to hide the fact that I did not glue that down straight, um, which is not surprising for me. I never think never things are never straight. Um, but it is a, certainly a way of being able to trick the head, trick your mind to think that um, that is actually sort of straight. Um, and I have just distressed that quite heavily with my fingers around the page as well. 
The photo that I'm using today is just a quick selfie that I took a few weeks ago. It's the first time in the pool for the season. Um, anyone in Queensland in Australia would know that it's getting pretty hot up here. Um, and we've had some wonderful days. We've even had stormy evenings as well, which, you know, aren't my favorite, but we're still, you know, moving into, out into spring and into summer. And it is certainly looking like a pretty hot time. So the family all got together and had our first swim of the season. So this is just me sitting in the pool thinking, oh, yep, this is the life. So I wanted to document that. And I've used all the fussy cut flowers from the one of the pattern papers in the kit. And I love that um, one on the bottom there on the right, how that has clustered beautifully, just sat so beautifully on the bottom uh, right hand side of that square of the pattern paper. And just to give it that tr visual triangle, I've added the uh, a small cluster at the top as well. And the cluster in the middle is really I'm classifying that as one full cluster so it is all around the photo so that's where I'm when we're talking about that visual triangle I'm looking at the top being number one the middle being number two and the three being at the bottom there and I have used the to, for my title I have used the puffy stickers from pool party and with the summer and vibe was actually part of the thickers as well and I've just added some of the puffy stickers around and just added layer upon layer for this particular layout and that is pretty much it I have got the final product for you and some close-ups and I hope you've had a great time creating this month and I look forward to sharing next month Thank you so much for joining me. If you, I would love it if you liked and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye for now.